Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this late started <laughs> Monday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Today, as every day, I'm still the host. My name is still Tom Rigsby. How was your weekend? I hope it was fantastic. First of all, let me say, some of you know that uh, my daughter and her family, her husband and my granddaughter, I uh, live in Houston. My daughter and granddaughter actually happen to be here visiting. So they are out of harm's way. Her husband is still there, but he is fine. Thank you for your questions and concern. I appreciate that. And I'll continue to keep you updated as you think about it. Think about and uh, give your thoughts and prayers out to lots of people there who are going to have a difficult time for some time to come. All right, so this morning... And, and actually, it, it, it kind of relates to that. I want to talk about uh, this morning one priority. Uh, the, and the story that I usually tell related to this uh, has to do with our other daughter uh, when she had a wreck. You know, as the dad of daughters, I kind of prepared myself. I kind of thought through the process and got several phone calls, you know, like, I've got a flat tire, I'm lost. I hit a deer, you know, stuff like that. Never really prepared myself for getting a phone call from somebody else because my child was too hurt, was too injured. The injuries were, injuries were too great for them to call me themselves. So, and this is how this plays into priority. At the time I got the phone call, I was in, in a uh, deep, passionate conversation about uh, project status and what we need to do the next day. I was walking out of the building with uh, uh, somebody else on my team. and um, I got the phone call, and it was a number I didn't recognize, and because we had this thing going on, I was just going to not answer the phone. But he took the opportunity to exit and leave and go get in the car, so I answered the call. Good thing I did. From that moment, for about... I don't know, 18, 20 hours or so, I didn't really think about that project or the work that needed to be done anymore. My priority had changed and, and became a very singularly focused priority, right? There's really only one, only one thing that matters, and that's all that I was focused on. Now, that's a very extreme example, but what we tend to do from time to time is try to juggle multiple priorities. There's even a whole field that's been invented around juggling multiple priorities called project management. Right? The reality is you can only have one real priority at a time. Just take a business for example. Can I maximize profit, and improve customer retention at the same time. If, if I come down to a choice where I have a, a customer who is making a request and they want, and, and that request is going to have the result of maximizing my profit or keeping that customer, I'm going to have to choose one or the other. So I don't really have two especially when the two are more often than not in conflict, as that one would be, right? There has to be one priority. Just one, only one. Don't worry about anything else. Now, can you have other goals? Sure. And those goals actually should move you in the direction of that priority. But we get this idea that we've got to have multiple priorities and focus on lots of things and... <coughs> well, <coughs> excuse me, got me all choked up. We got to focus on multiple things, get lots of things done. We're smart folks, we're engineers, we can solve hard problems. And we create more complexity than is necessary. Simplify, choose one priority. I didn't tell you this. I always, almost always say this. Did you know the word priority existed in the singular form only in the English language for the first 400 years it was in the language? 
There was no such thing as priorities, plural. There was only one. Why is that? Go research that. It'll be interesting for you. All right. Hey, if you are here this morning, I appreciate it. I neglected to point out that you could, you should say hi in the comments, but a couple of folks did anyway. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Joe. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Oh, good. We got a com comment from Joe. Some actions can influence both in a positive direction. No, nope, do not agree with that at all. Period, paragraph, end of sentence. Can they? Sure. Is it an accident? Absolutely. Those two things, just use those two, right? That I said, maximize profit, increase customer retention. We can sit here and come up with examples all day long with scenarios that are in conflict. Can you maximize... Can you maximize profit and increase customer retention at the same time? Maybe, but it's an accident. Can't do it on purpose. Can't do it. Can't be done. Do not agree. Sorry. That's my opinion. We all, we each have our own, right? Um, you, you have, the, the point is not this. The, the point is not whether both of those outcomes can be achieved at the same time. I can walk and chew chewing gum at the same time accidentally, right? The point is, which one am I focusing on, right? Am I focusing on missing the pothole, or am I focusing on maximizing my chewing, um, the expressiveness of my chewing? We'll go with that, right? You got to focus on one. If you are trying to focus on two things, here's what your brain is really doing. Is this okay? Is that okay? Is this okay? Is that okay? And while I'm over here looking at this, I'm not, it is not possible to focus on this. And then the split second or the two seconds or the 10 minutes that you're focused on this, you lose sight of what's going on over here. Far better off. Focus on this, finish this, achieve this, then move on to that. That is one of my steadfast rules for my coaching clients. One priority. For whatever time block you are scheduling, you can only have one, whether it's the year, the quarter, the week, the day, the hour. Only one. If you focus on increasing sales, it can affect both profits and decrease stress on the business. Yeah, I agree with that. But then your focus is on increasing sales not customer retention or profitability. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for the comments. Keep those rolling in. Remember to say hi down in the comments. Uh, that lets me know that you are here and it sets you up so that Facebook will let you know as that conversation goes on with other folks. Be sure and do that. Uh, let's see, it's Monday. Yeah. Magnificent Monday tomorrow's Tuesday's radio show. We've got a great guest coming up on the radio show tomorrow. Tony Eberhart, executive director of New Leaf Digital here in Huntsville. Uh, that will be a great conversation. Be sure and check that out. You can find more on that at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. I think that's it. Okay, I'm calling it. You have a great Monday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.